gets me hyped. This right here. The paradigm of absolute control. And that's why we're just out here doing simple things, pointing out that we're meant to be in nature and be natural. And this is where we find the source that God made to transcend the new world order. And that's why they want to try to keep us out of it. I'm angry. <laughs> Peacock. Little <laughs> blue vampire pot and the goblins are hobbling round, coming after us. My spirit gets close to that evil, and I feel it go. Ah, ah, ah. We're such self centered crap, we don't even notice, and it's self rising up against us. Millions upon it, people of the Check the mic and make sure it sounds right, boys. Yeah. Welcome back to the Gentleman's Den. Jeff and Sean here, back in the den. Yes. For your listening pleasure. How you doing, your buddy? Viewing pleasure. That as well. I'm good. Life's good. Life's good. Got a new sponsor this week, buddy. Really? Yes. Tell me more. <laughs> Hickman Farms. Sizzle. Bacon scented dryer sheets. Ooh, I'm excited for that. Do you like bacon? I love bacon. Do you like the smell of bacon? I love the smell of bacon. I love the the sound of bacon being cooked. I love it all. The taste of it. Now, can you imagine... Going to work and all day, all you smell is delicious Hickman Farms bacon. You know what I when when I have bacon, the only thing I could think of is I want more bacon. Yes. So yes, I would want it to last all day. Then this product right here is for you, brother. Hickman Farms Sizzle Bacon Scented Dryer Sheets. Oh my god. Now if you don't want your coworkers smelling you all day, or the neighborhood dogs by your dryer, does it come with a stick to beat everyone off? <laughs> stick is not included. God damn it! You're gonna need one. Just putting it out there. Hickman Farms has over 200 bacon scented products. 200, <laughs> including sizzle deodorant, oh. sizzle hand lotion, sizzle dish soap, and sizzle in- insoles. Ooh. Keep the stink out oh of your God. shoes. How are you going to keep the red-blooded Americans off of you? I don't know. How? That's that's going to be the problem, though. And how pissed are the vegans going to be? Oh, no. 
When you walk by the... I don't know, because they're not technically eating it. It's a way to enjoy bacon while not consuming bacon. Yeah, so but, I think this might be a hit with the vegans. It could be. It could very much so be. You'll swear your laundry came out of the <laughs> frying pan with Hickman <laughs> Farms bacon-scented dryer sheets. These right here comes, it's 144 dryer sheets per package. It comes okay. with its own wall-mounted dispenser. Ooh, that's convenient. Very much so. So, would you like to know the story of Hickman Farms? I would like to know the story, yeah. Tell me more. I like to invest in a product. Daryl Hickman, the president of Hickman Farms, starts with, Bacon saved my life. As a grandson of a pork farmer, I became <laughs> quite fond of bacon. Whether I was reading books on Grandma's lap or helping Grandpa fix the mower, the heavy, rich smell of hickory smoked bacon was part of my life. Oh yeah! At nine years old, I lost Nana and Pop Pops to a grease fire <laughs> <laughs> and dove into depression. I missed them, but more importantly, I missed the smell. Recognizing this, my father made me a stuffed toy bear that smelled like bacon. I carried it everywhere. I no longer felt sad and alone. It was, a, it was clear that bacon, everything is better with bacon. Nowadays I, nowadays, I run Hickman Farms, and while we still make the upper Midwest best bacon, we have added a host of household products to enhance in household products enhanced with, you guessed it, bacon. Bacon. I got it. Enjoy. I'm going to enjoy it. So Hickman Farms <laughs> bacon scented dryer sheets. I'm going to be hungry all day, though. That's going to be the problem. Pick it up at your local store or go online and search out Hickman Farms <laughs> sizzle bacon scented dryer sheets. If it doesn't say Hickman Farms, it ain't real bacon. That's true. Now back to the show. So, yeah. There's not many things that I get excited about, but when I hear that bacon sizzle, I truly get excited. You know it's going to be a good day if you hear the bacon sizzle. The bacon sizzle. It's kind of like chilies when the skillet's coming out. <laughs> Secret time? Secret time. I don't like the smell of them fucking them pans coming past me. <clears throat> Really? I don't like the fajita chili. The fajita trio, whatever. I, I like the food off of it. It tastes mm -hmm. delicious, but I just don't like that smell. Because the pan's like burning. It's yeah, got it's, that burnt. Well, and it's had 500 other fajitas in it. And <laughs> how good do they really wash those? Because they are cast Well, iron. you're not supposed to wash them, right? Exactly. Oh. <laughs> so I don't know if Bertha and Buford <laughs> were licking the tray Tag team after duo. <laughs> We're licking the tray after it was served. You know what I mean? Well, they probably wring them out and put it in those sheets. No, that's rich Hickman Farms yeah, bacon. Yeah, that's true. It's not that Chili's bacon. No. I love a Chili's. I'm not going to lie. Chili's should sponsor us, really, because, I mean, <laughs> the amount of Chili's that we've eaten in our day is staggering. I just know what I'm getting, and it's always, it's always good. You get the queso dip. Mm -hmm. You get your sirloin. Oh, yeah. And possibly 14 to 15 Tito's and lemonades. <laughs> yeah, but it's like it's consistent. You know what I'm saying? We've gone out yeah. to eat, Kayla and I, and uh, you go out to dinner, you get a big expensive meal, and it's like, eh. Chili's would have been better. Yeah. We went to a restaurant not too long ago and got some steaks, and yeah, we both looked at each other and we're like, we're Chili's people. <laughs> We're Chili's people. I ain't going to lie. The lady and I were having this conversation today. I'm above Applebee's. Don't get me wrong. We're all above Applebee's, Chili's let's be Chili's honest. People. Like, I don't know. I'm, I might have went to get Applebee's for the Dollaritas. That's different. <clears throat> they that's almost just, got me. That's just drinking. That's not eating. How money. many people are getting shit back wasted at a fucking Applebee's? The American dream is dead. <laughs> 
Not inside of an Applebee's. No, when you get kicked out after having seventeen dollaritas. <laughs> <laughs> no, we were having this discussion today. Actually, we went out last week for Dad's wife's. Jade, Jade, we can actually say Jade's name on here. She doesn't get weird about it. Yeah. We went out for her birthday. Went out to Racine. Well, you guys didn't make it out there. Yeah. Racine had a giant, like, street festival going on, which was cool. Saw my brother and my former brother-in-law out there, Big B. Shout out, Brian. Um, had a good time. Then we met you guys at Kenosha. Yeah. And wh- what is that place called now? Fuck, I don't know. Something on Main Market or is the old what chicken and it's old it's old Mike's and chicks and chicken and donuts. And we were in there and we were both like as we left, we was like, Man, that place was way too high class for me. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. It was a cool vibe, cool yeah. atmosphere. It's like uh and it's crazy too, because a lot of the bars they like close at like ten. So it's like a, a pre party bar yeah i feel like a lot of bars are doing that now where they're like they're open till 10 11 and then they shut it down and then they let the the hooligans end up at the dive bars yeah i'm a dive bar guy i felt i felt old i don't know about you yeah like walking around town it's just all these young thundercats running around and i was like oh boy how about old boy in those shorts (laughs) bicycle shorts oh my god I could count the change in his pocket. <laughs> like he was smuggling a squirrel. <laughs> Old boy had the tightest shorts on I've ever seen. Like he rode his bicycle there, like his trek. Yeah, it was, it was very off-putting. <laughs> so is this? Yeah, I mean it was. It was one of those ones where it was. Just, I'm just gonna get a cleaning real quick. Hold on. It was one of those nights where it was. It was a fun night. Thank you. We had a good time. Yeah, but. I have never felt more out of place in two bars. <laughs> it's a different vibe, yeah. Than, than I did that night. Well, like you said, like uh, we're getting older now, so we're just we, we like the dive bars. So like when we go into those, uh, it wasn't even like a club, but it was like a a happening spot, and it was just filled with young, vibrant children. <laughs> oh my! But these these people were these kids. I remember those days. They, the the light in their eyes. Oh yeah, they were still young. They still had momentum. <clears throat> we ain't got momentum anymore, <laughs> baby boy. What do you mean? We don't. We don't got the juice to be going out in those bars anymore. No, I ain't got the the stamina. Honestly, I don't have the juice to be going out in a regular bar. <laughs> How dare you? You ain't got the juice. We're about to do a pub crawl tomorrow. I know. I'm actually kind of pumped about it because I, you know. She get the girl gets to fucking learn. She learns the ways. She, she gets to see the the full extent of. Right, uh, lay down now. This isn't your show. This um, isn't cat meow, cat meow time. It's one of those ones where it's <laughs> she gets to find the uh, find out how we actually are, like fun wise. We need to see we're older now, so I'm gonna get a solid base because we're gonna be bar hopping. Yeah. For hours on end. Yeah. And uh yeah. We're gonna have to go grab dinner before for sure. Before a thousand percent. I need to like I think I'm just gonna eat a half loaf of bread. I think the <laughs> first time we did the pup crawl, I ate two um Chipotle burritos. The go- for the golden mile? Yeah. I was locked in. I wanna I think next year we'll send it out to the spon- to the sponsors, but our uh to our listeners. Baconators. Hickman Farms, maybe they'll sponsor it. But I think <laughs> I think we need the gentleman's then presents the Golden Mile pub crawl. Yeah, I'm down. We'll it was up. fun. It was a good time. We'll I get, mean we had a what was it, like twenty five of us? Yeah. It was a lot. And we'll get a we'll get a group together. The bars hated us because twenty five people would just come in and rush oh, the bar. Oh, we, and then we'd all get one drink and then go to another bar. So we had a rule on this on that. No shots. In the first five bars. Yeah. And then it was fair game. As soon as we hit touch, <clears throat> shot time. Yeah. Because we only had three bars left. <laughs> Four bars left. I think we're just going to stay in the village limits. 
Last time we hit all the uh, outskirt outskirts. bars outskirts. first. That was more just for, around. That was just for us, though. Yeah. Like, just we didn't have, few. like, the 20 with us. No, 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 no. Not when we did all that, because we drove to those bars. Oh, thank you, Sean. No problem, buddy. A gentleman. But, uh, hair in my mouth. Spit yeah, we, we did all the outskirt bars first, which was a smart move. Like, it was a nice little base. Well, yeah, I don't want to go to 15 bars and then drive to the last four. Yeah. <laughs> ended up ended up at Donovan's on the last bar as always. Hit or miss. To be nice. Oh, what do you mean? Because sometimes it's great. Sometimes it's... Oh, boy. Why are we here? It is crazy, though, because we, we live in a small town, and the bars used to be packed. Yes. And I thought that we would, like, pass the torch to the next generation. But every time I go to those same bars, it's dead. And it's the same motherfuckers... That we used to drink with, yeah, fifteen fucking years ago. Like, in <clears throat> I think uh, kids nowadays are more. Uh, like, what do they do for fun? They're more apt to go to other bars, not like the local. They don't. They haven't discovered the uh, wonderment and joy yet of just going to the bars of in the town. village pub. Yeah, <laughs> they want to go to the. Oh, let's go to this bar. It's it's supposed to be cool and but. Mm-hmm. Like, when we were 20, you're like, hey, let's go to this bar over here. Then we end up at a bar, and you're like, why the hell are we in this bar? Yeah, I don't like an asses to elbows type of vibe anymore. No. Even back then, I really didn't like a packed bar. No. I'm more of a, even when we go, we go to Tacos and Tequila, which is a music festival. It's like 2000s rappers. It's all throwback shit. It's a lot of fun, but we try and, like, push close to the stage and uh, after a while, I'm just more of a stand in the back and watch the show. Like, we were talking about Alpine Valley. Mm-hmm. Like, I think if I ever go back to a concert at Alpine, I'm just going to get grass seats and sit up at the top. Because that hill... Yeah, you were saying is, it. <laughs> Walter Payton. ...is treacherous. I want to experience it once. I've never been. And I'm going to do it. Maybe next year. Yeah, we'll, we'll figure see. out a show to go to. Maybe we'll do a live podcast from Alpine Valley. Yeah, that'd be dope. Tell all your friends just to subscribe and just keep liking so all of our stuff goes up. Yeah, and so we can do Alpine. We'll do Al- That's the goal is Alpine Valley. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> My goal is honestly to do one live podcast one day and probably be at... A local dive bar like we just talked about. Or Rumpel's. Do like a, uh, have a DJ, have all this, we'll sh- do the podcast and party the rest of the night. Yeah. I think that'd be a fun time. All right. I'm down. We just gotta, uh, we gotta set it up. You gotta stop being lazy. But, you know. <laughs> you think that, that thing that I posted, we're procrastinators. Yeah. We should start a group for procrastinators. And someone commented, tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that was like the one. That's I, speaking my language right there. The one I said about all the corpses on Mount Everest all were highly motivated people. <laughs> They're all dead. Stay lazy, my friends. Now they got the, sh- what, are the what are those people called? The Sherpas? They've always had the Sherpas. Yeah. Those guys just. Carry your shit for you. Leave your ass up there to freeze and die and take <laughs> off. It's crazy though. They fucking set it all up. I watched a documentary. Well, I, on. I think they don't they just get, don't they just get you to a point and then they go back down. No, and... they fucking they go all the way, dude. It's like Everest used to be like something, and now it's like a, a tourist attraction. Pretty much, yeah. Like it's oh, well, I made it. Like it's something that techn- just, technology has gotten better too. I wouldn't want to do it. Not a fucking chance. It doesn't excite me. It's no. not like... I mean, yeah, if I think about it, like, man, like, you could say you did Mount Everest, but, like, does anyone really give a fuck? Like, no. it's just something you could brag about, like, oh, dude, that dude did Everest. Yeah, and the, now look at him. He's missing a toe from frostbite. Yeah, he's... I don't know. I'd rather, like, go to, like, fucking Punta Cana and chill on a beach or something. Yeah. And drink all the liquor at a bar one night. And yeah. Be like, 
Those dudes from Wisconsin showed up. Yeah, grabbing liquor from other boats. Because <laughs> we ran out within 10 minutes. So uh, how are you enjoying the job? It's not too bad. So, yeah, I started a new job. I work for the uh, county of our... Uh, county that we live in of our beloved state of wisconsin mm-hmm. super chill a lot of flagging going on just stop and slow and so you're getting hyped up for about a month from now <clears throat> oh snowplow season's gonna fucking kick my ass something fierce but don't really snow too much anymore so who knows i don't know man with all the water we got at the beginning That's what of the I'm summer saying. i'm scared i am petrified that we're gonna get so yeah i'm gonna be plowing the snow don't kill anybody's mailboxes. No, oh, they they have like there's legit. They have a cold storage and a warm storage, and they keep different types of equipment in there. And there's literally a whole corner just filled with uh, fucking destroyed mailboxes. No, to replace mailboxes. Oh, nice. <laughs> they already told me it's not. Uh, it's not if you, you do, do but, one, but it's when, when you do one. Because yeah, you're gonna fuck some mailboxes up. Well, our buddy fucking Mike has put his mailbox up three times. Because I always wondered. I saw the mailbox with the like piece of plywood in front of it, and mm-hmm. I never knew what the fuck that was for. But it's to block the snow so their mailbox don't get destroyed. Oh, I just thought it was for, to block kids from whipping shit no, out the windows. No, that's from the fucking snow plows because it's oh. knocking their mailboxes over. See, now you know. Yeah, I always yeah. wondered, too. I was like, what the? why the fuck did they have a fucking like piece of plywood in front of their mailbox. From kids taking bats to mailboxes nope. at 60 miles an hour. No, nope. it's from old fucking snowman, snowplow man. From me. And I'm coming for him, too. <laughs> you you going to have a little sticker on the side of the truck every time you get one? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have a fucking tally sheet. Weren't you mowing, too? Yeah, I was mowing grass. Didn't you almost flip the mower or something? Oh, well, dude, let me just tell you. You're mowing and you're like, you're in a fucking, like a legit tractor with fucking huge mower behind you. And yeah, your butthole puckers up a little bit because you're on some fucking steep inclines. The guy's like, yeah, he's like, you're going to, you know, it's going to feel like it's going to flip, but I never seen one flip. And I'm in there like, this bitch is flipping the fucking one tires off, off the, the ground. ground. I'm like, oh, Jesus. But yeah, nothing, uh, nothing so far. Pretty chill. Pretty, pretty cool. I like the uh, four-day work weeks, four tens. It's nice, isn't it? I love it. You wonder why I don't want to quit my job. Yeah, four tens. Four is tens is sweet, nice, man. man. Get it, you don't. You wake up Friday and you're like, eh, what am I going to yeah, do? Because yeah, it's Thursday. It's like, oh fuck, it's Friday, and then the week's over, and then you get a three-day weekend. It's fucking sweet. I mean, the winter, yeah, I'm going to be on call, so that kind of sucks, but whatever, man. Take the good with the bad. I mean, every job has its uh, downfalls. Yes. Yeah. I had inventory for sure. today, so. Mm. Yeah, those are fun. Oh yeah, got that done. I went home. And I'm like, all right, I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm gonna go take a nap and just be left alone. Because <laughs> my brain, don't bother. Me. My brain hurt pretty bad, and I've been dealing with a fucking pinch nerve, and it's really annoying. Oh my god, world. Very much. Jesus so. Christ, Chewy. Will you just calm down? This cat. No, it's prairie dog. And just fucking do something. Oh, you know what I did watch is uh, the penguin. Oh, did you now? Yes. How was it? Oh, I did now. Really fucking good. Is it? The first episode was fucking awesome, dude. And because HBO made it, I don't know. I'm getting like uh, Sopranos vibes from it. Well, I got a little bit of a Sopranos vibe from when the movie yes yeah but the show now because it's going more it's it's fucking good so he's like obviously it's a it's following the aftermath of the batman movie with uh robert pattinson it's fucking the first episode i'm like when it was over i was like fucking that was really good nice okay normally you watch a show and you're like uh Maybe, they, you know, yeah, let's just do a fucking series from it. But I was like, God fucking damn it. That was really good. So I watched the first four episodes of uh, the Mr. McMahon documentary on uh, Netflix. Oh, really? That's about his... Uh... That's about Vince McMahon, basically his life. Yeah. 
And but then it gets into the dark shit, obviously. Yeah, I haven't watched it. I, How many episodes are there? There's five, I believe. I so fell asleep. I fell asleep because I started watching it like at five o'clock and my old ass <laughs> is in bed by seven. So, <laughs> so I was watching that and I got to watch the fifth episode. So the documentary was all filmed before all the shit came out. Oh, so is the last episode have all the shit? So Did they like add one because of all the bullshit. So what some of the uh, former wrestlers or the radio show wrestler hosts now have been saying, they're like, he had Vince had his hand on all of it until the last one. Mm. And then it started getting a little dirty. So what happened with him? He was doing some freak off Diddy shit. He was, yeah, he was ex- exploiting his power. Like, there's a story of a the first female referee that sued him for sexual harassment type deal. And then he's like, I never did anything with that woman, blah, 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 blah. And then at the end of the episode, it pops up. It written, it's like, she settled the, the lawsuit for multi a multi-million dollar lawsuit payoff. Yeah. In like 92 or whatever it was. So it's kind of like the Rick James. Yeah, it was. I didn't. I, I, I didn't. I, I didn't do no, couch. I didn't. I got I, a little more sense than that. I didn't. I didn't do anything with this girl, but I did pay her a couple million dollars to. She got the way up. It's crazy, man. Like we talked about with Diddy last week. It's like when you just you get that that power and you're you get so much money and the influence you have, like. These people will do anything to make it. Yeah. And you have the power to have them make it. And you're like, nah, how bad do you want to make it? Yeah. It right? Is. I mean, that's like the Epstein thing. Like, you want to be a star? I'll make you a star. That's the uh, Weinstein. Weinstein. What did I say? Epstein? Uh, Epstein. Yeah, yeah. Weinstein. Yeah. Same shit. You're in a position of power. You can make these people famous. How bad do you want to be famous? And let's be honest, if Harvey Weinstein was never in a position of power, he would have never got laid. That is one of the most disgusting looking human beings on the planet. <laughs> he is rough to look at. <laughs> he looks sweaty at all times. All times. Like, why are you so greasy at all times? I'm just counting his money. He's Allegedly. Allegedly. Don't sue us. What are you going to get from me? I ain't got shit. Fuck you. I don't know. Dirt ball. They'll be taking our bacon, our fucking, our dryer sheets. You mean Hickman Farms? <laughs> oh. Pink and scented dryer sheets? I do. Sizzle. Sizzle. I got to try that deodorant. Bacon deodorant? Yeah. Can you imagine what that smells like after a day? It starts wearing <laughs> off and you've when been it starts sweating. it cooking? All, when, you, when you've been sweating all day? That, oh. That's got to be some... Uh, yeah, that's a smell I don't want to know. No. That's, I know what that smells. I've worked in restaurants for years. I've had a good mix. <laughs> it's not a good... Not a good not smell. Not a good mix. I like it, though. So, so yeah. other than that was... Because you're... I mean, your ball's deep into the wrestling game. The Yeah. And Vince McMahon, I feel like he just brought it to just another level. So Vince bought the company from his dad. And... They go into that story. Like, it wasn't like Vince just buying the company and mm-hmm. his dad being out of the way. No, Vince bought the company and his dad was still the influencer. Mm. So he wanted, originally, before Hulk Hogan went to the AWA and became Hulk Hogan, and then Vince brought him back. Vince wanted, he saw the star power in Hulk Hogan. And they gave, and Vince's dad's like, no, I don't see it. This is the guy you need. And it was Bob Backlund, who was uh, a redheaded, like, all-American kind of just milk. Yeah. You know what I mean? (laughs) Yeah, right. White bread. Like, it was one of those, why? Yeah. It's like. Is it seems like when I was watching it from kind of what I took, he was with, popular, but he didn't have that. I mean, Hulk Hogan has that like it factor. Like, well, that. so Hogan left WWF and did the Rocky movie, 
Well, he, didn't he leave because he couldn't do the Rocky movie? Yeah. So that's why he left. Yeah. And then when he got done with the Rocky movie, he went to the AWA, and then Hulkamania was born. Brother. Yeah. And then he became the biggest attraction. I mean, still, arguably, is he the most uh, famous wrestler of all time? Arguably, yeah. Probably the most recognizable, right? Even people who don't watch wrestling know who Hulk Hogan is, right? Well, yeah, because they watched, you know, Suburban Commando. And he had that House of Hogan, was that? Or Hogan Knows Best? Hogan Knows Best. And then we had to listen to his daughter sing. Oh, boy. <laughs> and so, remember the movie No Holds Barred? That was Hulk Hogan's movie that he made. Where I don't remember that one. Oh, boy. Maybe you need to do a movie review on No Holds Barred. Okay. Because him and Vince. Wasn't he the nanny or something? Not in No Holds Barred. No, but like, he wasn't. There was a movie called, yeah, like The Nanny. The Nanny. Yeah. Or something like that. But Vince and Hogan sat down and wrote No Holds Barred, thinking that this is going to be a masterpiece. It, it is. Just all the cocaine? Basically, it, was, it <laughs> felt like that. They spent a weekend and wrote the whole movie. <laughs> and it's horrible. It's, it's bad. Really, it's No bad. Holds Barred. I don't, I don't think I've even ever heard of it. I remember, so I remember in the 80s when it was coming out, they hyped it. Like, they fucking hyped that movie. And that's where Tiny Lester, a.k.a. Debo. Oh, no shit. He played Zeus, which was the bad guy in the movie. But there's a scene in the movie where they try to kidnap Rip a.k.a. Hulk Hogan, and he proceeds to start kicking the hell out of everybody. Yeah. And he grabs this one guy and picks him up, and he's, like, snarling in his face, and he's like, what's that smell? And the guy goes, Dookie! <laughs> and, Hogan, the fuck and Hogan goes, Dookie? And that's the end of the scene. And the dude's got shit all over the back of his pants. Oh. So it's... Comedy gold. Yeah, it's, like I said, it's rough. Like an unintentional comedy? Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. Vince has a really weird sense of humor. <laughs> so Vince has a very weird sense of humor. So, like, dick and fart jokes and shit like that is, yeah. is his jam. Dookie. So the dookie thing had to be, like, Vince, like, ha, 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 this is great. <laughs> This is such good shit. <laughs> oh, on the cocaine. Oh, boy. And then, yeah, it just, it was. Allegedly. It It's dark. Like, it's, when you watch it, you're like, oh, boy. So he's not a great guy. Not a good old boy. He's not a, he's not a very nice guy, old Vince. But it's worth sure. the watch. I'll check it out. I love a good fucking shit movie. Oh, No Holds Barred is, that's going to be a, that might be a projector worthy night just yeah. so we could all laugh. Make Kayla watch it. Make BJ watch it. Ooh. Shout out to BJ. The brewery tours is coming on. Yeah, too. I'm pumped about that. I'm I'm proud of the dude. That, look, that looks like it's going to be a good show. Even though you shot some of one of them. Yeah, yeah, I helped, uh. Up shoot a little bit. So did Kayla and my nephew, actually. Yeah, Kyler. <laughs> Kyler was a boom mic operator. That's why I, I, <laughs> I messaged BJ and I said, because he's, you know, post that little blurb, mm -hmm. I go, oh, so you, you mean to tell me you got a job opening for a boom mic operator? <laughs> I just love people who are passionate about something. And the way that that man gets excited when the beer touches his lips gets me excited. Yeah. And that's like, I feel like, you know, a lot of those cooking shows and those tasting shows, like when when they like get excited about it, it gets like you excited about it. So like when he's talking about it and describing it, I can't, I can't drink a beer and be like, oh, that has like cinnamon in it. And this, I'm just like, it's either good or bad. I don't yeah. have like that that palate to like well, break it down. I just know if it's shit or I like it. Well, it's you know, 
being in the restaurant business when like, oh yeah, this is really good. And then you eat it and you're like, yeah, it's all right. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I just don't have that. Uh, the palate. Yeah. I, like people, it's like when, even when they're tasting food, they're like, oh, this and that. And I was like, oh fuck. Like, yeah, I didn't even think about that. And then you're like, oh, this has like, what, what? It's got like honey and this. And I'm like, oh yeah, it does have honey. <laughs> like, I don't even like, I'm just like, yeah, tastes like shit. <laughs> and he's like, oh, but wait. I'm like, yeah, okay. Oh, there's a peanut. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I just, I don't, I don't have that. And I, I wish I had that. And, uh, yeah, I just, I know if it tastes like shit or not. So I do have a drink that I'm going to have him taste because he loves everything. And I even brought it up to him. I said, isn't there something, like, you don't like? And he's like, I understand that, but, like, these people pour their yeah. heart and soul into it. And, uh. He's, he's this and that, him. but I have one that uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna I'm gonna bring on. Maybe we'll do a review. It is the worst shit I've ever had in my life. Malort? Nope. You're just gonna have to wait and see. That's, Ooh, that's... what we call a tease. <laughs> it is horrible. I've never eaten ass, but I bet that this is what it tastes like. Locker room ass. <laughs> oh. All right. So what else is going on? Uh, I, we can't talk politics anymore because it just gets me angry. Well, then, did you notice every time we talk about politics and then I post it on Facebook, it gets flagged and taken down? Is it? You notice that? Mm -hmm. We've had two episodes that we've kind of even dabbled into politics. Both of them I've gotten flagged on Facebook for and said that I am uh, cryptically trying to get someone's information or something. Some bullshit thing, and it takes it off of Facebook, and it says it's under review. Oh, out of our, on our clips? No. Like the last episode we did, we didn't really talk about politics too much, but we did. Yeah, yeah. Facebook sent me something and said that this violates their terms because I was trying to get someone's cryptic information or something like that. And it happened on another episode that we talked about politics on for very briefly. I just found that weird because we don't talk about politics very much on here. No, we, we state our opinions, and if our opinions are being silenced, that's... Maybe, uh... I'd really like to look it up. I don't want to, like, have any fucking dead air on here. But, uh, I, it's like, uh... Yeah, like, I was trying to get someone's information or something, or I don't even know where it would be, um, to be honest. No, we, we'll never try to take anybody's information. No, because I don't... I don't care. No. <laughs> I wish I could find it. I don't really want to... Because I haven't gotten flagged. I just, live on air. You know what happens to me a lot, I've noticed, is the old uh, shadow ban. Yeah. Where you post something, and I'm like, wow, I didn't get one like on that. I thought that was pretty funny. What's weird, too, is it'll, like, someone, someone who will frequently post uh, content like that, it will ask, do you want to see more of this or less of this? You ever seen that? Yeah. That's fucking. That's fucked up too. Don't don't be don't be all up in my shit. Zuck. I liked it. Yeah. Clearly, I'm into it. Well, that was so. On TikTok, one of the uh, reels that I posted, the one about the. Uh, I don't even know where it would be. Was it? Uh, Man, I really wish I could remember what the fuck it was. When uh, about the punk rock museum about the painting. On TikTok, it flagged it for, uh, said it was low quality and blah, blah, blah. And I, so I, like, or, and it was uh, unoriginal content, is what it said. I'm like, you got the same people doing the same dance over and over and over again. But me talking about a powerful piece of art to me was unoriginal content. Yeah. Shut up. Kayla had something on TikTok, too, where it was um, her sons or twins. They were, like, swimming in a pool, and it was, like, this is, like, some weird thing. And she's, like, what the fuck are you talking about? 
Like you can't show her kids having fun, having fun with their shirts off in a pool because they're boys. I it was it was so fucking weird. It was like sexualizing or something fucking weird like that. And they took it down. The hell kind of times are we living in? Uh, it's real simple. If you don't think a certain way, you're the enemy. You better get in line, Sean. For what? The bread line? Because that's where we're <laughs> fucking headed. Let's not. See? We Good. We just got flag me. Please. I would like to have a debate with any of you. Assholes. Sorry. It's okay. Pisses me off. You want a back rub? Not from you, but yes. Okay. Your hands aren't strong enough. What do you mean? <laughs> I have headlight hands. Headlight hands? Yeah. You know the you know how the, the headlight's in a very weird spot? Yeah, you can get in there. And I can get in there. <laughs> Actually, your hands might be all right to hit this nerve. <laughs> really? Get in between the shoulder blades. I got an elbow. You got an oboe? Obu? Obo? Here, Obu, sit. No, I got an elbow. I got two of them, actually. And they both have stars on them. Yep. <laughs> Speaking of bad tattoos. <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, that, that was... Signs of the times. Very much so. Thank God I didn't get any tribal. I'd dodge that bullet. I could have... Fucking tribal right now, right above my fucking crotch. <laughs> <laughs> what fucking tribe do you belong to, Chet? Chet. <laughs> Chet the fucking dick root tribal master. <laughs> I don't even know. Dick root tribal master. <laughs> oh, boy. Imagine the lower back tattoos. Grandma, what's that? They can't see that anymore. That shit's <laughs> by their ankles. Think so? The droop. Is that why they wear high-rise jeans now? Can't re- wear high-rise jeans with a low-rise butt crash. Uh, I miss low-rise jeans. Are those coming back? The uh, kids now are... It's, it's straight out the 90s. You see these kids walking around? I'm like, I wore that shit in high school or grade school. Well, we were talking about that today at dinner about... Uh, like in the summer, or like winter, when kids are like wearing shorts and a hoodie and it's negative 30 outside and they're standing outside by the Dude, bus. but summer, they all wear fucking hoodies. Yeah, they're dressed like it's negative 30 outside. I don't get it. My kids too. It's fucking 95 and they're walking out the house to go to school in sweatpants and a sweater. I'm like, dude. But I mean, is the air conditioning on very high at school? Not that fucking high. Maybe. It's not Snoop Dogg high, all right? Oh, boy. There's no way. The good thing it's not Willie Nelson high. Mm, not that either. Did you hear that story Snoop said? Mm-mm. About the time he smoked with Willie? And Willie made him tap out? Willie made him tap. That a boy. Willie's the champ. 90, 90 years old smoking everyday smokers under the table. See, and it's illegal. But that he might have found the fountain of youth. Maybe. I mean, I've been off it now for four months almost. Yeah, how do you feel? Same as I did when I was on it. <laughs> just not as fun? Just not eating as much shit. <laughs> Ice cream. All right, so... I said, I told Jeff this, but, you know, Rogan and all those guys always do Sober October. Yeah. So I'm doing my own version of Sober October where I'm uh, getting rid of all the bullshit I eat. So all the sweets, all the Because you're a snack guy. Drinks. I'm a snack guy, as you could tell by my <laughs> physique. So What do you mean? What? <laughs> Bro, I sweat walking up the stairs. <laughs> Kidding. I don't sweat walking up no, the stairs. No, but you eat pretty good. It's just you're fucking, you're a snacker. Yeah. You're a cookies and brownies and. Sweets. Sweets. I like you're sweets. S- sweet, man. Like I, if I never eat a bag of chips again, I'll be all right. See, that's, I love chips. It's the sugar, man. I, the, the sugar is my heroin. 
You know what I mean? That's my addiction is mm-hmm. sugar. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm drinking a double cup here right now, but this is it's just gonna clean. This just, is come on, bro. Can 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 Daddy do a fucking show one time without you and your sister over here? So the challenge is thirty one days. Yeah. All right. We're no gonna take, cookies. We're gonna take that. Like, back. what's the? Where do you draw the line? Are you like eating healthy, or are you just no it's, snacks? It's no extra. It's no extra. Like, can you still eat pizza? I'm I'm gonna try to limit my pizza intake. Limit. What does that mean? Because four le- days a week? <laughs> no, legit, legitimately, like once, maybe two weeks. Okay. Because I will go home and crush a frozen pizza, no problem. Yeah, fold that bitch up like a taco. Is, I'm not you. I, I <laughs> I'll, I'll cut it and I'll eat it. But yeah, I'm gonna stick to more. I'm gonna stick to more proteins, more uh, vegetables. Are you challenging our listeners to get healthy during? October? I'm challenging our listeners to basically do Lent, give up something for the next 31 days. Well, the th- I'm going to say 30 days because... October? Yeah. Okay. Go do your own version of Sober October. So if there's something that you know you shouldn't do and you keep doing it, try to go 30 Like days. an ex-girlfriend. Oh, boy. I know. Those are... <laughs> Stay away. No, like, <laughs> if you go to fucking Starbucks every day and get a... You know, eight dollar coffee. Skip it. Skip it for a month. Go to IHOP and get the or the Waffle House. Get a real coffee, like a real. Or man. just make yourself coffee in the morning. <clears throat> All right, so yeah, that's a good little challenge. I don't know what it, mine would be. Hmm. That booger sugar. Oh yeah. <laughs> All of that. Yeah, all the Coke. <laughs> Coca-Cola. Yeah. No, I, I mean, like I said, mine's just, I'm going to not buy the bullshit. Like, I got stuff at home right now I need to finish off by the end of day Sunday. Oh, so you're going to fucking charge there's, there's hard? A, there's going to be a binge. For the last, Clear out the cupboard? Basically. <laughs> it's almost there. I got like a couple ice cream sandwiches to go or something. Ooh. But I just want to see, if I first off, if I can not go to the vending machine at work every morning and grab an energy drink and a, you know. How do you pay for that? It's on your phone? Right on my phone, baby boy. Damn it, yeah. Otherwise, you could just leave your card at home. Yeah. That would help. Can't leave my phone because I need something to listen to at work. Yeah. Or I'll drive myself insane. What about an iPod? Problem is, is my iPod so old, I need wired <laughs> headphones. <laughs> I have Bluetooth headphones now. Can you, isn't there a way? No, I'd have to hook up a Bluetooth connection and no. <laughs> no. No. And plus then I can't listen to the shows I like to listen to. Your podcasts and shit? Yeah. Um, I just don't. You're go just over gonna to have it. to. I'm. I'm gonna have to use willpower and not go over to it. Which means, don't walk to that side of the building, and you won't have to worry about it. Do you think there's a man out there named William Power? A hundred percent. I think. If you're a, out there, Will, I want to hear from you. I think there's a man out there named Max Power. Max Power got his name off of a, a hair dryer. <laughs> Max Power. Simpsons reference. When Homer went to uh, work for uh, the other uh, nuclear was the power other nuclear plant. power plant. Yeah, when they had like the war going on. <laughs> hey, if you kill a couple guys on your way out, Homer. <laughs> <laughs> well, willpower. So, my challenge to our Jesus. listeners is the month of October. Give something up. It's it's like Lent, but it's not 40 days. It's only, it's only a month. It's only 31 and days. It doesn't have to be booze, so that's no. cool. Or if you drink a shitload of a certain booze, switch it. 
because if if you're a full blown alcoholic, you can't really quit drinking, or else you're going to go into DT. You'll die, yeah. Die. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't die. But did you die? Maybe. Maybe. No, I just. <clears throat> I'm starting to. I was doing good for a while, and I'm starting to get back into uh, old bad habits. habits. So yeah, I'm, they're hard to break. So I'm going to stop that shit and get my fucking shit in order. And then if I get through a month, I know I won't go back to the shit. I just need to not. Yeah. Then you could just have a little cheat once in a while. Exactly. Instead of the, uh, the purge. Yes. Okay. I got your binge, the binge, the purge is when it's coming. Oh, is that when it's coming out? Yeah. Both ends. Yeah, that's another the thing. Anal purge. That's the other thing I noticed from eating the shit I've been eating. I was fine for a while. Yeah. And the shits came back, and I'm like, all right. I know what this is. Oh, it's those ice cream sandwiches. No, it's all the other shit with it. It's, What's that? it's the energy drinks. It's the... My Lord. And it's only... Do you eat an ice cream sandwich while drinking an energy drink? That would probably be a... Horrible. I dip it. Oh, you dip it. (laughs) (laughs) I do not do that. That would be disgusting. (laughs) Funny as a joke. If I saw someone dipping an ice cream sandwich in an energy drink, yeah, I'd 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 lose it. It's like a uh, I'd lose it. It's like a float. An energy drink float? An energy drink float. Just put some ice cream in it. And yeah. <laughs> I think we should try it. Probably your, probably your last day right before October. How many days we got? Monday is the 30th. A Red Bull float. I don't drink Red Bulls. <laughs> that doesn't matter. That's what it's going to be. No, it could be one of those monster juice. Was those Pacific punches? Those are yeah. ones I like. A Pacific punch float. That actually probably wouldn't be too bad. Little vanilla ice cream. That'd be horrible. No. I think the acid in the energy drink would just dissolve the ice cream. I think it would just explode. <laughs> like a science experiment? Yeah, what just, is that? Elephant's tooth or whatever yeah. the fuck that shit is? <laughs> yeah, where it fucking launches <laughs> to the <roof>. out. <laughs> I'm down. You want to try it? We can try it. We'll put it out there for the channel. We could. Why not? Why not? Shit, guess what we're filming tomorrow? Oh, man. Energy drink float. Uh, like when, though? We got to do it early. We just have in to case do it early. My tummy doesn't like it. Yeah, if we're blasting out the back end. <laughs> it has to be and a... it's going to happen. It's going to happen. And I hope it happens. That you blast out the back end? Yeah. I hope not. <laughs> one sip and all will instant. Then I'm just, you know, it's like a good detox. Yeah, you. I lost 25 pounds. How'd you do that? What diet are you on? Oh, well, yeah. I put vanilla ice cream and Vanilla ice Red cream Bull. and a Red Bull. <laughs> <laughs> Someone would do it. Okay. If you lost weight, it would start a fad. Yeah, I mean, can't be any worse than Ozempic. What is that? I don't even know what that is. I have is. no idea. But Everyone's uh, on it. And all the side effects seem to be very bad. <laughs> yeah, but you look hot. Yeah, for about three weeks, and then all of a sudden you're sweating for no reason. <laughs> your skin's falling off. <laughs> Allegedly. Allegedly. I don't know. I don't I don't even know what it is. So is it like a shot, a pill? I think it's a shot. I don't know. I don't I never looked into it because I have no interest. I'm out of juice, man. Sorry, right, we're almost done. I mean, we could cut it short at 51 minutes and go back to living life. Yeah. Let's well, go get some Red Bulls, man. Let's go, we'll go get some Red Bulls. Go get some Red Bull Red floats. Red Bulls and ice cream. Red Bull floats. <sighs> One more shout out to our sponsor this week. Sizzle. Hickman Farms Sizzle Bacon Scented Dryer Sheets. Do you want to smell like a fat pig? <laughs> <laughs> This is the product for you. I love fat pigs. No, you don't. What do you mean? I do. Name one fat pig you love. 
Well, I guess Babe wasn't really too fat, right? He was a pig. Yeah. He got fat, eventually. Bacon from uh, Varsity Blues. Mm-hmm. I love I When I see fat pigs, I get excited. <laughs> I thought you were going to say Rosie O'Donnell. No. Hey. Shout out Donald Trump. <laughs> now we got shadow banned because we talk politics. Didn't talk. <laughs> didn't talk. Po- didn't talk politics. The universe. That was before he was in politics where he was called Rosie O'Donnell. <laughs> sea donkey. <laughs> sea donkey. So, sober October. Figure out what you want to do. And let us know. Comment. Yeah, shoot us a. Let us know where you're quitting, because I want to know. Because I'm, uh, I'm gonna jump on this trend. So, uh, so what I'll do I'm is quit. maybe I'll just quit the booze. I'll uh, put it up on Facebook. Sober October challenge. Pick, and let us know what you're giving. Pick, up. pick what you're giving up, and then. Uh, at the end of it, we'll see uh, how Maybe it works it's, out. Uh, pixie sticks. <clears throat> Very hard to give up pixie sticks. It's hard. Those things. Oh wait a minute. No, it's not. It's just a tube of sugar. I, tube. I don't. Even... <laughs> you remember when you just get the giant three foot? Oh my rope? god! How it looked like a three foot straw. How did they sell that? It was just diabetes. Just it was a diabetes in your mouth. <laughs> like diabetes, it was nothing. A diabetes straw. That's how you started your day as a child, with a fucking three foot, or what was the one fun, inch pixie remember stick? Fun dip. Yeah, you just lick the straw or lick the. It was candy, and yeah. you just lick it and dip it in more sugar. How gross is that? If you think about it, just slobbering into a. Oh. All right, let's go get some fun dip. <laughs> let's go. Oh no, the other cat's here. Uh, Mama had to make her appearance on the yeah. episode. She's like, no, you're not shutting it down without me or not. All right. All right, kids. That being said, thanks again for coming in and listening to another fun-filled episode of The Gentleman's Den. Don't forget to go to Kicks and Canvas underscore 223 on Instagram. Kicks and Canvas on TikTok. Eventually, he'll get more content up there. And go ahead and check out Small Town Infamous on Instagram. Check out the link in the bio there and go buy a t-shirt. Uh, my girlfriend's daughter designed one that's up there. Mm-hmm. You should go buy that because I'm splitting the proceeds of it with her. So, yeah. Come back again next week for another fun-filled episode of The Gentleman's Den. Thank you all very much. Goodbye. Yeah.